Hello and welcome to Lingua Musica, where music is the universal language. I'm Joe Kendrick here at AMR Media Studios in Asheville, North Carolina, joined by Alucha Tistas, Brian Oslentz, and Shane Perlman. Welcome, gentlemen. Hi. Well, it's great to have you on the show, and today we're talking a little bit about some of the compositional elements of Alucha Tistas' music, which, if you didn't know, Alucha Tistas comes from a Charlie Parker tune, Alucha, mm-hmm. and the Zapatistas, the revolutionary movement in Mexico, so it's musical and social revolution in one. Uh, how does it all come together for Luchatistas? How do you make your music? Well, some of it started with black form composition, just kind of taking elements of structured improv and piecing them together. Some of it is rigorously composed by Shane, or everything is kind of arranged by both of us through performance and practice. Yeah, really through performance, a lot of performance. In fact, on our last tour, you know, Ryan and I hadn't played together for something like two months when we had to start our last tour in Europe. Uh, and uh, and uh, I had written a bunch of stuff in the meantime. Um, just and, trying to and, uh, gigs. And so it was kind of like, you know, just play along and, and, you know, just keep it simple until you start to, like, understand what's going on and then you know start, and he started writing his parts but on the tour i mean just like on the fly i'm all about uh you know setting getting set up for failure on in, in a performance you know and, and and just really trying out new ideas that just they're not going to work but in front of an audience you know but like i feel like that's very much what you have to do in order to like kind of really you know put the pressure on and also kind of really figure out what works you know and then it's like so yeah, you can always feel if it's not working or not. Yeah. yeah. Well, can you show us a few things that uh, some of the, maybe the, the basic building blocks of Luchatista's music? Sure. Yeah. We don't have, obviously, our full setup here, which I, I, I'm using a lot, you know, electric guitar with lots of delays and uh, and, and different, you know, some loops and things to, to create, like, a much bigger... And Ryan plays a drum set normally, <laughs> not just his legs. But, uh, but um, so we can show you one song um, that, that we have is or a section of it is called uh, Heads Full of Poison. And uh, full song is about 16 minutes. Yeah, we're it's not going to do that. Yeah, it's kind of an epic. Yeah, it has a lot of movements to it, but we're going to play one or one of the one of the parts of it. Um, and this is one of the ones that was kind of kind of through composed. Uh, I, you know, I wrote the melody out kind of uh, based on kind of uh, some gamelan uh, music and using a prepared guitar. Here I got my little plastic credit card strip. <laughs> to kind of give it that more kind of an intonation, metallic sound, and um, yeah, so, but the, yeah, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks. So, how do I learn to do that in 30 days? <laughs> 30 days. <laughs> you teach guitar? Yes, I do. Yeah, I teach um, I have close to almost 30 students in Asheville that I teach, mostly young people uh, from kindergarten to high, through high school. Um, 
and then uh, some adults occasionally. Usually when an adult comes to me, they've been playing for like a long time and they just want a perspective shift. And so they'll take one or two lessons and then they can kind of run with what, what we what we've got what, 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 with what we cover. But then yeah, I teach a lot of children guitar. I really enjoy it. So a really really fun fun job, and uh, it's great to share music with with young people and, and see what their interests are and and, and kind of just just help them to explore the instrument and i really look at it as like a, a conversation you know with with something that we're that we're mutually interested in you know so we're having this an exchange and so i really how did you come to play guitar and, and you drums and percussion i started grabbing pasta and pans out of my parents' cupboard when I was like two. Inevitable, man. And they got me a toy drum set when I was three. And just lo I just loved playing, like right away. How about you, Shane? You know, I was listening to uh, some heavy metal music, like uh, Iron Maiden and Metallica and bands like that, you know. And uh, so I... Uh, I never actually played much of that, but I, that's what kind of got me excited about the guitar as an instrument, you know, when I was 13, 14 years old. Are there any artists that you especially look up to or have as inspiration? Like the first jazz record I ever bought was John Coltrane's Giant Steps. And, uh, and it was like, I think that John Coltrane embodies maybe the broad array of like, of all, you know, of things that inspire me, which is, you know, of course, you know, he had phenomenal technique, but then he was also a pretty, you know, uh, um, open-minded and, and a militant experimentalist and, and really also, and, and, and was a wonderful, um, gracious leader of like a new new movement and a younger generation of musicians that he um, supported and encouraged and through, you know, um, recording with and just really opened up, you know, like gave a lot of credit, lent, lent his credibility as, you know, as a, as a, as a master to um, what, what was happening in, with the younger musicians and, and then, you know, just uh, kind of about like endless searching, constantly moving forward and taking on new things and constantly strengthening his roots was one of the things that blew me away and in his interview with him um, that I was listening to and at the end of Miles Davis live in Stockholm album and it's like I got a radio interview with Coltrane at the end and they're asking him what he was up to and he's like I'm really just uh, strengthening my roots you know and, uh, and that was just incredible to hear him say that because he's, he's like yeah I skipped over a lot of stuff I'm going back and I'm strengthening my roots and I feel like that's just great because I feel like I'm constantly doing that especially as someone who's teaching people from at a from a beginner level you know it's constantly going over the roots you know and you're constantly going back and getting things I don't, so I think he's just one of my biggest inspirations. Like I said, there's a, a long right. list, but he's kind of at, at the top, you know. I played in the Shannon Whitworth band when I toured with them last summer. Yeah. It was my first bass playing gig. Played in the country band when it, that was pretty cool. All right. Yeah, that was, that, that was exciting. And we got to do an Aluchatista set in the middle of the tour. <laughs> really? That has to be really... At my parents' house, house concert. Okay. That was fun. That has to be a nice... I'm like bringing a complete guitar, contrast. Like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna do a late night show. I love a variety show, though. You know, just like I don't like when you go to a show and every band is kind of like they they try to like kind of genreify the whole evening, you know. And it's kind of like I'm, I, I like when it's like uh, you know because we're drawing from such a, a large pool of you know of influence, and we just like to listen to a lot of different kinds of music. Mm -hmm. Ryan and I are. are really big fans of, of, you know, like top 40 hip hop music, you know, that's pretty much almost exclusively what we listen to when we're traveling on the, on the road together is like, you know, the, la the, big clean. the latest big clean hits from uh, Little Wayne and, and, yeah. and Drake. That's pretty and amazing because if you listen to Lichitista's music, I would never put that together. Yeah. 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 <laughs> among, <laughs> among many other records. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's kind of like a high... Either we're gonna get really excited and revved up, or we're gonna listen to something landmark. He shows me a lot of things that I need to catch up on, or oh, vice versa. Like, like what? Well, like last last summer, yeah, like YouTube and oh, yeah, television. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the yeah. Shags. Just filling in the holes, man. Strengthening the roots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. totally. Yeah, we're going the shags. Yeah, the shags yeah. are phenomenal, man. Yeah. Well. 
Thanks for strengthening our roots here today, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Thanks Thank for having us. Ryan. For Lingua Musica, where music is the universal language, I'm Joe Kendrick. Thanks for being here.